What's up people, how are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. And I have got some excellent content for you folks today. For all you Mac users that have Mac stuck on remote management slash MDM, mobile device management, if you have those encryptions on your MacBooks, and I'm not just talking about T2 MacBooks, I'm talking about T2, M1, M2, and M3, Silicon Max as well. This is a full premium bypass that Checkmate have recently released. They actually released it on New Year's Day, which is two days ago. And this is a full premium service where you get full access to the device, and also there's better news as well people there's excellent there's more excellent news to this guess what that is it works on the latest mac os sonoma as well it does so i'm going to jump right into the video but firstly i need to point out that this is a different method to our usual method okay so what we need to do first is this so you have your encrypted Mac remotely managed, right? So what you need to do is using another device. In my case, I'm using uh, an iPhone, okay? You could be using an iPad. You could be using another laptop. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But using another device, this is what you want to do, okay? Basically, go on to checkmate.info, their website, Scroll down, okay? Because this is a total different method, people, than the last one. I'm sure most of you are aware of my uh, previous video, but this one is different. It's a whole new method, and you need to know exactly how it's done, okay? So you scroll down to here, and it's the macOS Remote Management Bypass Tool. So let's go ahead and discover the software, yeah? Brilliant. As you can see, right, look what it says there, right? Computers that are equipped with Apple M1, M2, M3, and T2 processors. Check that, people. Look at that. And as you can see there, um, compatible with MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, Mac Mini, iMac, Mac Pro. Yeah? on the latest Mac OS Sonoma. So what you do, scroll down right here, open payment page, okay? Now you simply input your Mac serial number, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Okay. Got it there, order service. So there's the license software order there. And check that. Same price, same price. So whether you've got a T2, M1, M2 or M3, it is the same price, the same price, okay? So obviously you put your name, your email address and be sure to put in this promo code okay the promo code is iCloud helper 029 right you use that promo code right apply promo code and it takes 10 to 15 percent 
off your purchase. That's 10 to 15% off the sale. So it was at $29.99 and it's now at $26.99. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to proceed in putting, obviously, my name, my email, select buy now. Once the purchase is done, I'll be right back with you. Hold tight. Okay. As you can see, people, thank you for placing your order. So my order's been placed. So now the order's been placed. We're going to go ahead and proceed with the bypass so the first thing you're going to want to do is enter into the mac os recovery okay so firstly we're going to shut down the device as you can see the device is shut down and now when powering on the device, be sure to hold Command, Option, and R, not Command and R, okay? So, command, so press Power, and then these three, Command, Option, and R, right? Now, I need to connect to Wi-Fi. Once it's gone through the internet recovery steps, I'll be right back with you. Okay, people. So now we've entered into the Mac OS recovery. What we want to do is basically open up Safari. Okay. So open Safari. And you want to type this into the URL at the top, okay? You want to type in checkmate.info forward slash code and then enter. There's the code, right? So just click copy to clipboard and now you just basically want to select safari and quit safari and now what you want to do is head over to utilities open up your terminal and simply paste it into the terminal and now enter as you can see, it's running the command. It takes literally a few seconds. Look at that, done. And it'll give you user credentials. So username, admin, password, 1111. Just like that. Uh, if you prefer to type the code in manually, I'll have it up on the screen for you. Uh, but it's a lot easier to copy and paste, as you can see what I've done. So once that's done then, Simply restart your Mac and then we are good to go. It's a whole different process to the um, to the other Mac bypass, the, my previous video, which like I said, most of you are aware of, you know. Um, but yeah, this one, it works on Sonoma, it, the latest operating system. Uh, so it's not just for T2, it's for M1, M2, M3. So as you can see, admin and 1111, enter. And now we're going to have full access to the MacBook. Uh, this works on MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, Mac Mini, iMac. It works on all them as well. Fully activated, sign into iCloud, download uh, all the apps from the App Store, use it as your own computer, as if you just purchased it from a shop, basically. Here we go, right at the beginning. So we'll go, not now. Data and privacy, continue. So here we go, sign into your Apple ID. So we'll 
set that up later. And yeah, basically this is this is it. This is the new method for remote management slash MDM encryptions on your MacBooks. So it's not actually downloading, you know, the program onto the computer like like with the last one. And bingo, we are in. Done. Done, people. Check that out. So for all you MacBook users, it's got remote management on T2, M1, M2, M3, Max. This is the process and this is how it's done. It's straightforward. And basically, yeah, you're good to go. So, you know, uh, basically, if I go into the settings, you'll basically see it's on the latest Mac OS Sonoma. 13, sorry, 13, 14.2.1. Bingo. Job done. So, for the people who have previously used... Uh, on my previous video if you um, basically because you've already added it to your database what you should be able to do is um, obviously because you're now going to want to get this on Sonoma yeah and obviously if you've got Silicon Max you're going to want to get them on Sonoma as well you know obviously the, the previous method only worked for T2 and M1 but this one works for all of them with the latest Mac OS as well. So if um, you've previously uh, purchased um, on Checkmate and you basically now want uh, this version, when you basically put in your serial number like I did on when I showed you on my phone, it should say this already registered on their database. So of course, before proceeding with that, because you have to install, you know, the Mac OS first and, and go for the process until you actually get to where I got to, you know, uh, be sure to back everything up first, whatever's on there, uh, external, through, um, whether it's an external USB stick, external hard drive, etc. cetera. Um, because obviously you'll, you'll need to, um, you need to back your stuff up because it, it will be erased. It, it has to be erased to then redo this again. But if you're new to doing this, then just do exactly what I've done and you're good to go from here on out. Obviously, the things I do need to point out, and it does state this on the Checkmate website, is do not do a factory restore um, and do not update it, okay? If you feel as though that you need to restore your computer because your computer is causing you problems, then again, back everything up first, restore it, and then start from the beginning. And as you've already paid for the service, you're good to go. <laughs> Look at that. Easy as pie, as they say, right? <laughs> well, you know... I'm really glad that I was able to to get this video out for you folks. I noticed uh, it came out, I think it was on New Year's Day, about three or four days ago. So, yeah, um, check out my other content as well. Smash that like if you feel as though you, um, you've liked this video. Uh, be sure to share. Make sure you share. Share it far, share it wide. And most importantly... Hit that subscribe as hard as you can. I have got plenty of content on here and a lot more content to, to come. So be sure to check out all my other content on my channel. 
Also check out Just A Text content on YouTube as well. He has got a lot of videos uh, covering iOS as he's um, he's a, um, an iCloud bypass developer himself. So he covers all these type of fields as well. So yeah, if you want to check his channel out as well, crack on. But most of you people watching this, you probably already heard of the man, you know? But anyway, if you haven't, you certainly have now. And check out, yeah, so check out the rest of my content. Obviously, if you get any problems with the terminal and there's certain commands that are, you know, coming up and it's not doing it properly, like, for example, you might, it might state, you know, please reinstall your Mac OS, then install your Mac OS. Yeah? Straightforward process. ABC. You've seen what I've done. I've given you the tools. It's simply a case of how you use them. There we go. And thank you. This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you as always from Cardiff City. Bye for now, my friends. Bye for now.